Okay, and I'm back. Well, that was disappointing. We had a little bit of a broadcast glitch, and unfortunately, the run I was just doing... ...died. I'm, I'm not sure what happened. So I'm gonna be trying this again. Uh... Gonna be going with Isaac. I don't know what just happened. My entire computer flickered. I think I had just like a minor power outage. <sighs> it's, it's, it's fine. The last run was not good anyway. So for the YouTube people, uh, who are... This is going to be the only thing they're gonna see now. Uh, because I just lost that last run. Uh, so this is, uh, Nye has been a lazy bastard and did not try, to, or did not, uh, like, backlog anything, so he has nothing to upload today, uh, run of Binding of Isaac. Uh, this is, uh, there will be more of your regularly scheduled Binding of Isaac broadcast in the future. I guess I'm gonna pick up Speedball. That, that's fine. Um, but, uh, there'll be more in the future. Uh, and there'll be more of your regu regularly scheduled Roos and Rogue Legacy, but for now I'm gonna do Isaac. Uh, mostly because I've had a series of, like, work days and things like that have made it very hard for me to... Oh, hey, look, there's a, there's a needle sticking out of the back of my head. I wasn't even aware of that. But uh, it's kind of been uh, hard for me to catch up on my uh, videos after my short vacation. So, uh, you know, I've done a lot of Isaac, Isaac in the recent past. Unfortunately, you guys have missed out because I was not really uh, paying too much attention in getting my, um, you know, in actually, like, splitting the recordings or keeping track of, like... Like, tw Twitch is giving me, like, hour-long, five-hour-long recordings of Binding of Isaac uh, as I went from zero to Platinum God and, uh, I'll, well, trying to get Platinum God. Let's say zero to Golden God in about the period of two and a half weeks. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and toss this right here, hopefully at 15 cents in the, sh in the uh, secret room. Please, please, please. That is Transcendence. I am not gonna re-roll that because the power of flight compels me. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, I, you know, I have a, so I have a ton, of, ton of, like, footage... But, uh, it's not footage I can really, like, make readily available to the YouTube folks, because it's kind of a pain in the ass to go through all of that footage and kind of see, you know, where does one run start and stop, uh, one run start and one run stop. There we go, I can speak. So for the YouTube guys, if you really want to see some Binding of Isaac and want to see me suck at the game, or be awesome at the game, depending on when, uh, which run I'm doing, that could have sucked. Uh, you know, you can feel free to go to twitch.tv backslash N-A-I-N-E-B-E-L, uh, my, uh, YouTube handle. Just literally replace YouTube.com with twitch.tv and you have found me. Uh, you guys can, uh, you guys can do that and then you'll actually be able to, uh, see the rest of those runs. I'm trying to make sure that each of them are saved permanently and you guys can just go watch hours and hours of footage, uh, watch me interacting with people, you know, what have you. And, uh, if I don't get Dark Boy this run, and let's face it, I'm not getting Dark Boy this run. Um, but if I don't get Dark Boy this run, you can come back and join me on that very same channel and, uh, you know, watch me, uh, watch me continue my attempts, which should be a lot of fun, especially when we actually have, uh, people in the chat as we do now. Hi, Fuzzmello, how's it going? So, uh, let's see. So, first floor noose is, um, why does everybody ask me for a cam? <laughs> I really, because face cam does not add anything to Isaac, it really doesn't. I just get teleported to the, uh... Angel Room, I'm gonna re-roll the Relic like a dumbass. I'm gonna pick up Guardian Angel, which I actually feel really good about. Uh, I really feel good about that re-roll right there. Uh, because, uh, that was, that was pretty awesome. That gives me a really good defensive, uh, defensive, uh, capability. And right now, you know, what we're looking at is we're looking at Speedball, which gives me a little bit of speed. It's not, like, the best thing I could possibly have. But we have Speedball, we have Guardian Angel, which is not only a, a slightly offensive thing, if I'm able to get some level of invincibility, like, say, uh, if I actually decide to go with my little unicorn, or uh, Game Kid, or, uh, you know, Book of Shadows. But uh, I also have, uh, I have the power of flight, which is amazing. And, um, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, let's just try tossing this against that wall. No. Okay, so that's not the, uh, um, that is not the super secret room, and that's fine. We had a really good floor. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do much in the shop, but that's fine. I have Flight, I have Garden Angel, which is going to make my uh, orbitals even better, and I also have a Cube of Meat, which could turn into something really good uh, on the next, uh, or in, in future floors. So uh, I think I'm going to try getting this guy to explode. Hold on, let me, he needs one more shot to prime him. No, okay, so that didn't work. So we will continue on downwards here. We do have a curse room. I also have my uh, my item room, which we're going to go to immediately in order to get a uh, teleporter, which what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to walk out of here, and I'm going to walk immediately into the curse room, open my, uh, open my chest here, which is going to contain two troll bombs. We're just going to teleport right out into the lust fight, uh, which is an interesting, uh, interesting thing. But, uh, you know, I might get poison touch here, which I might re-roll. 
uh, if I get enough rerolls. Because again, we're going for Dark Boy. Uh, we do not want to be hit at all. So Poison Touch, not helpful. Uh, I don't get Poison Touch. Instead, I get a uh, pill, which we are going to try out. It's going to give me Telepills into the secret room. We are teleporting all over the damn place. Not quite enough money to go into the shop, unfortunately. Still not enough, even with that penny. But uh, that was actually pretty not bad. Let's reroll Teleport to get Quad Shot. And I get Quad Shot so goddamn much, it is not even funny. Uh, I, mean, I mean, seriously, uh, usually... And I can actually say usually... Uh, like, on half of the runs that I do in Isaac, I either have Quad Shot or Polyphemus. And, uh, I had been led to believe these were incredibly, like, rare as hell items. So to get them so freaking awesome is, uh, often is awesome. Hi, Buzzmello. Welcome back. Uh, so, okay. So we got a lot of guys that I'm not exactly happy to be fighting. But, uh, we did get a couple keys. Uh, depending on, uh, depending on what goes on here, I might actually be inclined to, uh, go into the shop. Whoa, 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 we're not gonna do that. Let's go ahead and blow up this small rock. I'm hoping, or, I'm hoping we get the small rock. Instead, we get another key, which is not bad. We're gonna go into the boss room here, where we're gonna fight the Widow, Pink Widow, nonetheless. Or, no, no less. Um, yeah, I can speak, I can, I promise. Uh, it is a skill that I have. Uh, hopefully we will be doing Pink Widow with no damage, which is incredibly unlikely given the red nubs that she keeps on spawning. But, uh, hopefully we can do a no damage Pink Widow and, uh, potentially get a deal with the devil where I get to spend some of this money. I don't need flying. Uh, flying is not needed. I do, however, need something, whoa, along the line of, uh, you know, Mom's, uh, Mom's Knife, Brimstone, um, something like that. Unfortunately, we do not get that. We get the Coin Purse... I want the coin purse, that's the question. Um, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna re-roll it. Wow, I wish I didn't. Uh, not, cat of nine tails. I mean, our shots are gonna be, like, going at the speed of light, essentially. I mean, but uh, I really wish I had not re-rolled the coin purse. Uh, it was a decent item. Uh, not a good item. Don't get me wrong. Not a good item. But a decent item. Uh, so, uh, that was, I mean, you know, that was a bad reroll. Now, it is, I mean, it's effectively a range upgrade, but, uh, the coin purse has now shown up in here. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to afford it, so we're gonna go pick up the Magician, which was, uh, also a bad choice. I'm making a lot of bad choices, uh, so far, but, um, yeah. But, I mean, we do have Quad Shot. Uh, if I'm able to get myself a Polyphemus, or if I'm able to get myself a Mom's Knife, we're gonna have pretty large damage, and that's, uh, that's not a bad thing. Uh, that is actually very, very cool. And uh, we are going to go ahead and go down to the next floor, which is going to be uh, Catacombs. Uh, it's Crystal Labyrinth. Uh, Able, I don't really want. I'm, I'm going to flat out say that. I don't really want Able. I don't think it's going to help me with my survivability. Let's get these guys to cluster up. And uh, then let's just peg at them from a long ways away. This is why I really wanted flying for rooms. Uh, bullshit rooms like this. Rooms where, you know, damage is kind of inevitable unless you can fly. But, uh, that's, that's exactly what I wanted, uh, and rooms like this, like, just, just, just fuck this room. Seriously. <laughs> this room is, this room is terrible. But, uh, there's a troll bomb that I almost walked right into. Let's go ahead and continue onwards to the left. Uh, we have a curse room here. And, uh, I am all about the curse room. Especially if I can get in and out without taking damage. But, first thing is first. Let's go and re-roll this, um... Go ahead and re-roll this. Uh, I don't think anybody's talking in the chat, because I don't think there's actually anybody in the chat, to be honest. Uh, I think you are the only one in the chat. So we're going to continue on. I guess I'm going to go to the curse room. I will sacrifice half of this spirit heart, uh, which, uh, you know... Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to get a, a re-roll first, uh, like a smart person, and then I will go into the curse room. Because if it takes me to the devil, or the angel, or if it can, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, we've already been to the angel room off of a red chest on this run, so it's not exactly beyond the realm of possibility. It's not exactly, like, beyond the realm of imagination, even, uh, to, uh, to go there again. But even so, we could also get something ridiculously wonderful, things along the lines of, oh, I don't know, an item out of there. So, uh, we are doing good. And we are going to get another reroll, which we will take back here. Okay, so we got two uh, two chests. One is a bunch of spirit hearts, fantastic, and one is Guppy's paw, which uh, I'm gonna pick up 
and I'm going to place right back down, and we're going to re-roll that into Guppy's head. That is two parts of Guppy in one room. Uh, I am definitely going to re-roll that as well, because one, it could be fantastic. If I can get another piece of Guppy, um, you know, we'll, uh, if I can get one more piece of Guppy, we will be in a fantastic position. That was, uh, that was Guardian Angel, by the way, blocking a shot off this greed head. Uh, if I can get one more piece, we will have Guppy. Uh, and, uh, that is worth every re-roll on this floor. I am not even joking about that. Uh, if I can pull off Guppy, like, that is, that is the shit right there. That is the awesomeness. That is the best possible result of awesome. Like, especially if I can get, uh, oh, I cannot believe I did not take damage there. Especially if I can get Mom's Knife. If I can get Mom's Knife Guppy, like, all bets are off. We will have just a wonderful run. Uh, even if I don't get Dark Boy, I will have, like, the, I will be, you know, the prettiest girl in the Harvest Moon Ball. Uh, you know, I'm gonna be spect- Oh, crap! Okay, okay, yep, took damage there, but that's cool. I, you know what, that's, like, the first damage I've taken this floor. Uh, it's the first damage I've taken in a while. And so I'm, uh, I'm not unhappy about that. Especially because, again, this is not the Dark Boy floor. I don't have to worry about damage on this floor. It's the damage, uh, two floors from now that I'm going to be concerned about. So let's go ahead and continue pounding this man in the face, which is a sentence that uh, I think my mom never expected to hear me say. What's in here? That's tears down. Not the end of the world. Not happy about that, but not the end of the world. Okay, so we have seen Guppy's paw. We have seen Guppy's head. All I need to see is Guppy's tail. I don't really want Dead Cat. Guppy's tail. Uh, Book of Sin is not terrible. Uh, it's going to give me a spirit heart, which is going to cover the spirit heart. It's going to cost me to leave this area and come back in later. So that's not terrible. This is also getting more items out of the item pool that I do not want. Uh, we know this is... Okay, we don't know what this is. So that's luck up. Fantastic. We don't know what this is. That is bad trip. So that cost me that spirit heart. So essentially, uh, that was a wash. And uh, dodging all of this, it's just... Part of its practice, and part of its kind of, I'm already moving in that direction, and the enemies are aiming for where I was, and not for where I'm going to be. Which is something they teach you, uh, you know, they, they, they teach you this. Aim for where he's going to be, not for where he was. And the enemies kind of, they tend to aim for where I was. Uh, that's, uh, that's how the game is set up. The enemies do not lead you. Then again, I'm not doing a terribly good job of leading my enemies either, so, you know, I need to take it, take my own advice, and, uh, lead my enemies. Which is not exactly easy sometimes when the uh, enemies move incredibly unpredictably. Like these guys move pretty. Un uh, these guys move pretty predictably. They just they all like swarm on me zombie style, which I think is what they're supposed to be. Uh, you know, I, I have a mental image of the boomers from t uh, Team uh, not Team Fortress 2. Maybe the same guys. Uh, I have a mental image of the boomers of Left 4 Dead, and then you know what? That might be what these guys' name are. I have never actually uh, stopped on the uh, cr normal credits to find out. Okay, we have another reroll. It is all the way back. Uh, to that uh, curse room. I'm kind of putting all my marbles in that curse room right now, uh, which is probably not a really good idea. Uh, I'm actually giving up on, um, you know, I'm giving up on all of my rerolls for every other room in the on the floor uh, in favor of this room. Uh, and I was vindicated. That is vindication right there. We are now guppy on the uh, on the catacombs, and uh, that is that's vindication. Like that is that is fantastic. Uh, that it that just tells me that I made the right decision. Uh, and now I am Guppy, and, uh, we are the shit. You know, we are Guppy Destroyer of Worlds, how are you doing? So now all I need is, uh, Mom's Knife. That's what I'm looking for, I am looking for Mom's Knife. Or, uh, potentially Brimstone, but I think Brimstone fires a little bit too slowly for Guppy to really like Brimstone. So, I don't know. I, uh, I have people who tell me that they have never gotten Guppy, and I'm sitting there going, y you're kidding me, right? You've never gotten Guppy. But I, I mean, I guess... I mean, I haven't gotten Guppy all that much. I've gotten it maybe four times, but I've been min-maxing the hell out of the game kind of since day one. Forget Me Now is very tempting. Uh, not tempting enough. You know, I, I'm not going to say... It's not tempting enough to get me to want to use it. But uh, it is uh, it is a very tempting item, to be sure. Uh, if this was... Uh, if, this was a if this was the next floor. If this was... Um, you know, if this was uh, the depths, uh, I would actually probably say yes uh, to uh, to forget me now. But it, sadly, it is not. Uh, that that is actually sadly. Uh, I actually like forget me now. And uh, if I had no need of the D6, I would actually, uh, you know, I'd actually go for it. 
The problem is, I still have need for a D6. We are not the uh, end-all, be-all that I would love myself to be. That is a troll bomb. Let's get out of there. I am not the badass that I would like to be. Uh, so we got Super Greed, which I'm not happy about. But again, I am Guppy, and Super Greed is kind of melting uh, very, very rapidly. Every time I hit him, he is dropping multiple... Uh, or I'm, I'm bruising multiple flies, which is kind of raping him. Uh, we do have the 25, since we do have the quarter... Um, I can re-roll that, and I'm going to, which is going to give me the ladder, which really sucks. Once again, I've made bad decisions when it comes to rolling. Uh, but I will be rolling on uh, the Whore of Babylon, which is going to make me uh, kind of big. Let's go ahead and pop a bomb down right here. So uh, there are still, um, what do we got in here? Some money, okay. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not making terrible decisions. But, uh, you know, Horror of Babylon, I would love to get... Uh, I, unfortunately, I can't get Guppy's Paw. And uh, I've already re-rolled the Relic. So, I've re-rolled two uh, major ways to roll Spirit Heart. Like, pure Spirit Heart. But, uh, you know, I have, uh, I have faith in myself and in my ability to play this game. That I might possibly be able to make this shit work. And that's what we're going to see. I'm going to go check out my first boss. Who is it going to be? We are going to have Pestilence. So we are going to get at least a level 2 cube of meat. And uh, Pestilence is going to lock himself in the back corner. Um, how come? I, I don't know. What you, how, uh, someone's asking me how come I have to put out the fire. I'm not sure uh, what you mean by that. How come I have to put out the fire? Uh, if you're asking why I put down or put out every fire I come across, it's that... Uh, God, look, watch this. Watch this. Check this out. Come on, flies. Come on, make it happen. Like, all the damage off these flies. Look at this. Okay, so we got our cube of meat. Uh, there was no re-rolling that. Uh, but uh, I, I don't put out the fire. It's not something I have to do, if, uh, if that's what you're asking me. I don't put out the fire uh, because I have to. I put out the fire because the fire has a chance of dropping items. Uh, typically money, but there's also a chance for uh, 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 keys, uh, spirit hearts. Uh, there's, a, there's a chance for me to get stuff, and I like stuff. Okay, so the question comes up, uh, if I am to re-roll something, what do I re-roll? Uh, if I can only re-roll one item at this point, do I re-roll the shop, or do I re-roll, um, okay, I could have taken so much damage there. Do I re-roll the shop, or do I re-roll the item room? I'm thinking the shop, actually. Uh, and, uh, you know, the reason I think that is that I can potentially get one of many items. Uh, you know, what I really want to get is a compass... A map. One of those two. Actually, specifically those two. So if I can get that, uh, I will be I will be set. And I get the compass, which is fantastic. I will definitely take that. So now we're going to know where everything is. So if there is special stuff on any given floor, and I know where it is. And I can also... I, I, at this point, I can kind of just blitz the boss room on any given floor. Uh, I do think... Uh, what I would like to get is I would like to get the Bible. Um, the Bible would be a really fantastic get... Uh, because it would let me just insta-kill mom, and that's kind of what I'm looking for. Because mom is actually, for some reason, mom's my hardest fight. Uh, I don't know, uh, I don't know why. Every other boss, uh, seems really easy compared to mom. Okay, so I will, after this boss room, I will have a reroll, and the question is just gonna come up, what do I reroll? Uh, depending on what my options are. Do I reroll the boss room item? Do I re-roll, if I get a Devil Room, do I re-roll the Devil Room item, or do I re-roll uh, whatever it was that I left in that room back there that I didn't consider was worth picking up that I cannot even remember now, uh, because I am Guppy, and, uh, you know, I am Guppy. We're gonna find out, but the first thing I have to do is I have to go fight whoever it is in this room, and who is it gonna be? Uh, it's gonna be uh, the, uh, what, the Wretched, I believe is the name of this boss. Um... I am really glad that I'm Guppy for this. The reason why is I'm a, my, my flies will seek and destroy uh, the wretched spiders. Uh, and uh, the spiders are the thing I have the most trouble with on this fight. Okay, so we got a deal with the devil. Let me go see what it is. Dead cat and the pact. Well, I really want the pact, actually. Let's pick that up. And uh, unfortunately, I cannot take dead cat. Let's, uh, do I want to reroll that? It's going to be a two heart item. Uh, you know what, I'm just going to skip that. Uh, and we are going to go ahead and pick up the Magic 8-Ball, which is going to give us the 2 of Hearts, which is uh, phenomenally useless, but it's not as bad as what I had before. 
so yeah, so the reason I'm putting out the fires is that there is a chance that the fire will give me, uh, that will give me consumables, I could get keys, I could get money, uh, I could get spirit hearts, all of which are very valuable to me. So we're gonna go run up here real quick, we're gonna use our last reroll on this item right here, we're gonna hope for something amazing, uh, to come out of the forget me now, and we're gonna get Rainbow Baby, not the best item that I could possibly pick up, but you know what, that's cool. I was extremely tempted to pick up the Forget Me Now. Do not get me wrong, uh, and I'm actually I actually have a little bit of regret that I didn't because I could have uh, I could have used the Forget Me Now uh, to uh, reset the uh, um, to reset the damage. I think uh, that uh, would happen on any given floor. I'm checking that actually right now. Um. This is the question. Would that actually have worked? Now, I'm, I'm kind of curious right now, so I'm going to, uh, uh... I'm actually looking at this right now. Just to see. Uh, it's... Okay. I just want to see if... Does that actually work? Yeah, it doesn't... I'm not getting the information I want. I don't want to be sitting uh, still for this long. So we're just gonna move out. We're just gonna move on, and uh, you know I have extremely high hopes for this run, uh, depending on what the uh, upcoming boss rooms will look like. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a uh, the magician. Two of hearts is nice, but the magician's gonna be better. Okay, so we got our item room directly to the left. So let's just uh, let's just go to there, and let's uh, ignore these guys for the most part. Let's just stay the hell away from them. I don't want to take damage off them. I don't. I do not want to take early stupid damage. It's the Emperor. It's the Fool. Uh, what do I get in here? Kamikaze is terrible. Reroll that. Oh, I can't reroll that. Okay. Well, we're gonna go directly towards the boss then, because I don't want to spend any more time on these floors than I have to. Luckily, I can hover over pits like this. What is this, Emperor? Judgment. Uh, that is, uh, that is very, very tempting. But, um, okay, I need to be very careful in this room, uh, because I could easily, uh, take damage off of just about anything. Uh, there's so much in this room that could deal damage to me, and we have evaded it all. Okay, let's, uh, whoa, 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 Okay, our fly army has done its job, and we will continue onwards into another army of flies oh dear god okay we're good okay we're gonna move on into uh war's domain this is not a fight i have taken damage god damn it uh i was about to say this is not a fight i want to take because there's a very high possibility of me taking damage off of that very attack uh so unfortunately unless i can find something like a forget me now unless i can find a portable slot machine uh, something, uh, like that. I will not be able to do much in here. This, uh, deal with the devil room. Actually, this is really good, actually. Uh, if I can, uh, kill Krampus without dying, because, uh, dying is a really, uh, serious possibility at this point. Um. But if I can kill Krampus without dying, uh, I can not only use the judgment on this room. Which do right now. Okay, Judgment, I need you to give me something really good. And based off of what Judgment gives me, I'm going to consider a Wheel of Fortune could be amazing. This could let me re-roll that last room. Come on, Judgment, I need you to pay out, buddy. Come on, pay out, Judgment. Okay. Judgment gives me Brimstone. I will... Do I want this or do I want to hold out for Mom's Knife? Uh, that's a good question. Um, reroll brimstone. I'm gonna reroll bloody lust. You know what? I'm gonna take it. I really should have taken brimstone. Uh, yeah, that was a really poor decision on my part. But um, you know, I'm thinking brims or uh, Guppy doesn't really appreciate brimstone. Okay, we're looking for a fly. Uh. A fly result off of this uh, off of this slot machine. I'm okay with consumables, but I need a f I need flies because that will let me come back into this room uh, again 
and um, do things and stuff. Come on. Uh, it's pretty fly. That's, that is a fly, but that's not the fly result I was looking for. This is a tears down, right? Yeah, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, well, right now I've taken damage. Uh, that is a thing I have to basically live with. So right now, we're just going to go ahead. Uh, thank you, freaking blue fly. Right now, we're going to continue the floor as we would normally and kind of uh, see what nonsense we can get up to right now and see if we can get just anything good. Right now, I'm, I'm happy about this run. Uh, even if I end up not getting Dark Boy, and believe me, I still have hopes because there is a way I can trick the game into thinking I did not take damage. So I have hopes, and I'm going to keep on playing uh, with those hopes. But uh, even if this doesn't work out, it very well might not. Uh, but if it doesn't work out, one, I'm still Guppy. So this is automatically a fun run. I love playing as Guppy. It is one of the like best things about Isaac. But uh, not only do I have Guppy, but, uh, you know, I have Quad Shot. We are having fun. Uh, this is this is a fun run. And uh, you know, this is going to go down probably in the annals of... Uh, you know, Isaac Lore is one of the one of my funnest runs. Just uh, just for the sheer fact that it worked. Getting Guppy worked off of a single freaking I uh, uh, curse room. I got the entirety of Guppy. So uh, you know, I'm I'm happy about how this went down, and I did not have to get freaking nine lives to use it. Now, what I'm not happy about is obviously the elephant in the room. The fact that I took damage on War, basically, literally as I was saying, I was about to take damage in War. Uh, I've also made some spectacularly poor decisions. Um, when it came to, uh, some of the things I picked up, I'm gonna re-roll the hell out of that if I can. Uh, I was just asked what I want most right now. Uh, if you're talking about, you know, in general, uh, you know, I, I really, uh, really would like to, uh, you know, get Dark Boy and, uh, finally, uh, feel like I've achieved something in this video game. But, uh, if you're not talking about in general, if you're talking about basically Isaac, Mom's Knife, uh, I do, uh, you know, I have this feeling. Now, I, I've never tested this because I've never really had... I've never had a guppy uh, run where I had Mom's Knife, uh, which I consider to be a personal failing on my part, and I intend to rectify that. But um, I think that having Mom's Knife with Guppy could be a tremendously cool thing. I really think that, uh, you know, Mom's Knife seems to deal damage multiple times a second as long as it's hitting enemies. And let's reroll that into Infestation. I'm going to think about that. But uh, Mom's Knife seems to do multiple uh, multiple damage to enemies, and uh, Guppy spawns flies uh, based on how many times you hit, as far as I understand. So, I would really like to see exactly how many flies I can get. Not to mention that the blue flies that Guppy spawns uh, deal damage equal to, uh, I think it's twice your standard damage, and Mom's uh, Mom's Knife does an amazing amount of damage. So, I have this, I, I have extreme hopes that we can get Mom's Knife, because I think that could be a really cool thing. Uh, do I think it's actually going to happen? No. But, uh, it could, and, uh, I would love to see it happen. So, we're going to find out. I have been known to force rerolls to work my way in the past. Uh, that is the, uh, map, which I will take. Well, I guess we're going to go pick up the infestation. Not my favorite item. I guess we're going to also go pick up those, uh, ten bombs. Again, not my favorite item. And, uh, let's go pick that up. So we got some bombs. And then now with seven cents, I'm going to go play that slot machine a couple more times, just in the hopes that I can maybe possibly get something out of it. You know, maybe I can get a blue fly, uh, and that would be amazing. Uh, I'm not sure how Guppy with Infestation works. Uh, I, I'm interested to find out uh, if that's more flies than usual or what. What was this? This was the Fool card. I'm going to hold on to this because I can bring that down to uh, the Mom fight. We're going to continue on to the left here. And down we go. And what are we going to... What are we going to find? Come on, give me, give me what I'm looking for. Damn, that's pretty fly. Okay, that's cool, though. That gives us our uh, shield again. Come on, give, me, give me my fly. Give me my fly. It's a bomb. Which I'll take, you know. I'm worried. We have Meat Boy who likes nomming on flies, and we have a couple of flies of our own. So uh, this probably is not going to... Okay. We have war. Okay. Let's just... 
kill war without taking damage. And I will have a chance at this. I'm just going to go hang out over these rocks. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have other chance at this. So, uh, war has to do it for me. Okay, we do get a fourth level cube of meat. Which, uh, this is, it's been a very long time since I've got a cube of meat like this. Now, unfortunately, uh, I'm not going to be able to, um, reduce again, because unfortunately war blew up the slot machine. So I have to hope that that kind of reset the damage, uh, like, modifier thing. But I do have, you know, the fourth level cube of meat here, which is just doing outstanding work. Now, is there anything I want in this boss room worth fighting for? Not really. The boss is a hell of a long ways away. That could have been really close. Just gonna go ahead and deal damage. Uh, I do, uh, I do think that we're in a good position here. Ignore that gold chest for the time being. Uh, this is a terrifying room. Typically for that reason. Okay, that guy's dead. So all we have to worry about are the hearts on the far side of the room. And hopefully Meat Boy will just nom on them. Which is exactly what he's doing. Uh, thank you, Meat Boy. Okay, I should be able to take out the lone heart without much of a problem. Awesome. Another golden chest. Uh, this is not as terrifying a room as it should be. Uh, now that, you know, I have not only Meat Boy, but the ability to fly, uh, this could be terrible, and I took damage anyways, so, uh, there goes my second chance at Dark Boy, because, uh, I am a freaking moron. Okay, well, now that that is basically just out of the picture, uh, let's go, uh, let's go have some fun. So, you know, we are, we're, we're gonna have a little bit of fun here, and, uh, we're gonna take our fourth level Cube of Meat Boy, we are going to Cube of Meat Boy, yes, those are the words that I just uttered. And we're going to go uh, enjoy ourselves a little bit. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to re-roll the hell out of that. And I don't want that in the slightest. Okay, well next, uh, what do I want to do? Well, we're going to go and I'm going to just like completely ignore that half of the room right there for a little while. As I try to decide what I want to do to get uh, into those hearts in a very uh, satisfying way. So let's go blow that up. That should take out like three of them. Or four of them, because I can count. Blue Baby Soul, I did not actually have a uh, trinket, so that is a very cool trinket to have. And we're going to go explore. Uh, there is, you know, like a 0.0% chance, uh, but it's a 0.01% chance that I can still pull this off with some sort of trickery. Um, and I am all about the trickery. Like, that's the type of shit I like to pull off, is, you know, come from nowhere, let's get this achievement. Uh, I do not think it's gonna happen. Judas' tongue is actually better than Blue Baby Soul. So let's go, uh, let's go look around. You never know. I might be able to pull off something just flat out amazing. Or, you know, I might just be able to, uh, get a really cool item, uh, from my item room. Uh, Mom's Knife, maybe. We're gonna reroll Charm of the Vampire. Uh, Lard is actually, uh, something I want to think about. We're gonna go fight whoever the, uh, Envy. Okay. I was going to say whoever the uh, mini-boss is, but uh, it kind of just spawned before I could even finish my sentence. Let's uh, keep on killing things. I I'm kind of disappointed this wasn't the run, but uh, shoot de whoop is something that I am not at all interested in. Getting, uh, getting keys has been a really hard thing. I'll say that. I would, uh, you know, I would love to be able to re-roll something into, say, Skeleton Key. Oh, uh, we we have a we are taking a lot of damage. Uh, that lard is looking more and more like an awesome thing. Uh, the more uh, time passes, uh, that guy is just going to die. Uh, I'm going to leave this very very frightening room for a moment. I'm gonna go pick up that lard. It is gonna slow me down, which is uh, it's it's kind of annoying. Uh, I'm not happy about that. But um, yeah, we're gonna go pick this up. Give me a little bit more HP, even if it does slow me down. Marginally, apparently. We're going to pick up Shoop de Whoop. We're going to set it down. We are going to re-roll it in favor of the Rosary. Sure, why not? It gives me a little bit of extra health. Uh, keeps me in the game for uh, for longer. And I'm all about staying in the game. And uh, let's see. I don't really have enough rooms to uh, to get re-rolls going here. 
So, uh, other than, uh, potentially getting Mom's knife. It's a possibility. So, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna hope this gives me something awesome. It gives me two spirit hearts, and you know what? In my def in my book, that is something awesome. Next, we are gonna stroll, uh, right up here. And we're gonna go try to get a key out of this arcade. Okay, so let's, uh, pop the poop real quick. Excellent. Let's go play you. Let's play this twice. So he's gonna give me bombs. Uh, bombs, not really what I'm looking for here, uh, Blue Baby. Uh, you're not Blue Baby. Why am I calling you Blue Baby? That's a, that's a very weird thing to call, uh, the, uh, uh, to call this guy. That is an internal heart, which is, uh, really crappy, because that's gonna get eaten by the, uh, blood bank, like, immediately, unfortunately. Uh, you know, I kind of regret using it that way, but, uh, uh you know, on, on the flip side of that, uh, you know, I am now, like, guppy with Horror of Babylon, so... It's very hard for me to be upset. I really desperately want, uh, Mom's knife now, because this would just be sexy as is. This key would be fantastic if I can actually pick it up. Excellent, we will be back. Uh, I'm gonna go just pop down here, pop over here, and I'm gonna leave. No damage taken, because I'm a boss like that. Okay, so we are going to go into the shop, and I'm going to hope the shop contains something awesome and not some version of greed. If it does contain some version of greed, I'm going to wreck him and cry myself to sleep. Uh, that is not something awesome, actually, but I I guess I'll pick up the heart. This gives me two more plays on the... Uh, I'll pick up the key, too. Gives me two more plays on the uh, uh, blood bank. And then we're just going to go ahead and stroll right on over here. Let's open that up for... Uh, yeah, I guess I'll get a speed upgrade. That's uh, That's not bad. Uh, that'll, uh, that'll make up for the, uh, lard. And I was kind of hoping for, um, Nun's Havoc, because that would give me a couple more rerolls in some of these rooms. And I'll just play this twice. Okay, what can you give me that will make me, uh, slightly happier th with you than I am right now? Because I'm not really happy with you, Shuffle Man. Uh, you're, uh, being kind of a dick to me, uh, as of late. Not giving me keys, being a dick. You know, you're uh, you're not being cool. See, look, the slot, the uh, fortune teller. Even though it's not giving me the, an item I want, it's being cool. You're not being cool. I play this stuff a few more times. Hopefully, get a hopefully get a heart out of this. No. Uh, what is this? That is the hanged man, which is. You know, I fly already. That's kind of kind of useless. What is this? Two of diamonds, literally useless right now. Uh, that is that that is literally useless. Uh, a lot of people use the word literally wrong, and uh, I right now literally uh, literally useless. Is uh this is this still a wooden spoon? It is. I don't know how that's a wooden spoon, uh, considering that I already picked up the wooden spoon. Let's go ahead and dodge the hell out of that. Now I have a little bit of money, so it is no longer literally useless. It is only marginally useless. Um, I will go into this room. And that is worthless. Uh, the good thing about this is that I can blow this and the other one up in you know, the hopes of getting something other than a tears down pill. Uh, so that was that was terrible. Uh, that also means I'm not getting a reroll for the mom fight, uh, which uh, is also ter terrible. And that uh, is definitely not a reroll for the mom fight. Uh, do I want to fight two bosses to get a speed upgrade at this point? Is that something that I want to do? I, you know what? I don't think it is. I do think that I want to get my uh, the fool card back though, uh, because that would be uh, that would be helpful. So we're just gonna go here. We're just gonna. Pop that here. Yeah, I definitely don't want any more speed because I'm kind of feeling myself zippy doo dying my way around the map. I'm going to pop the two of diamonds because I have no other reason to hold on to it. Uh, it's going to give me six whole cents. Uh, six cents of my very own. We're going to go play that in the arcade real quick. I'm really still out. That was dumb damage for me to take. Uh, we're going to hope for some hearts. Get the, that's the hanged man. I want Isaac's head. Uh, not really, but if that's all you're going to give me, cool. Uh, I would really appreciate to get actual health out of you, sir. You can keep everything else, but the health is what I want. <coughs> yep, though, apparently it was the other side this time. But that's, uh, that's fine, you know? We're gonna 
continue to play him until I'm down to my no sense. Uh, I am going to blow that up. Gives me two cents, gives my bomb back. Uh, you know, man, I uh, I could blow you up right now. I, I wouldn't be uh, I wouldn't be messing around with a ma uh, with a man with a bomb. Uh, that's this is not a good way to stay alive, sir. Give me my money back. Is that what you're gonna do? No, then you are going to die too. Should have given me my money back. Okay, well I have the fool. Uh, I will take the tongue if I can get it. I, I just don't want the hanged man. You know, I want I want just I don't want Isaac's head. I want. The tongue and the fool. Uh, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna place that right there. Did absolutely nothing. They're 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 joined at the hip. Are they moderately apart. Let's see. Can, can I can I get a little bit of like blast against the wall separatedness? Like literally, cannot get the right combination of items. How about if I pop a bomb here? Come on. Wasting bombs to try to get you two apart. Can't you see you're tearing this family apart? Come on. Okay, that could maybe get me the fool and Judas' tongue, which is the combination I want. Oh, we're just gonna blow this up. That's apparently not gonna happen. There's a scent for me. That's, uh, that's uh, I guess, wonderful, perhaps. Uh, we are now in permanent horror Babylon state. We are gonna be doing... Uh, tremendous amounts of damage, or at least I hope so. And we're going to test that right now. No, we're not. I, I just remembered that is a speed up, and I am going fast enough already. So, uh, it's off to Mom. Um, you know, I will not be getting uh, the Dark Boy achievement on this uh, on this run, which is, you know, disappointing. But uh, at the same time, you know, I don't really deserve it, I guess. So, uh, or at least that's the uh, that's the impression that I have gotten from the game. I do have a level 5 Meat Boy, level 4, because I can count, uh, and uh, so that's doing really good things for me, and uh, we're doing really well on this mom fight, this is uh, one of my favorite mom fights, I really wish I had not taken damage against that war, because uh, that would have been a uh, take no damage mom fight, which I think is the first time I've ever done that, uh, which uh, that was interesting, hopefully I gotta deal with the devil from that, uh, so I can get rid of these final three uh, hearts for something I mom's knifeish. I don't know why I'm going all the way around. I don't need to. Unfortunately, no deal with the devil. That was that uh, performance was apparently not worth devil dealing, but that's cool. We are uh, again. We are uh, we are guppy, and I'm gonna just start moving my way down here. We are guppy with uh, a level four meat boy, uh, doing lots of damage uh, to just about everything that moves. And, you know, there's still a, uh, there's still a moderate chance that I could get myself a mom's knife or something similar. Kind of depending on how the near future goes. Uh, that spirit heart literally gave me the spirit heart that I lost walking in, so that was, uh, definitely interesting. That sucks. I'm gonna move towards the boss. That's, uh, that's cool. Give me my money back, sure. Give me my key back is, uh, the words I was trying to say, but apparently... Uh, when I am tired, like I am now, I'm not really able to articulate very well, uh, which uh, is uh, a personal feeling of mine. So we got a reroll. I'm just going to go ahead and walk into this bookstore right quick. And uh, we already have cleared uh, the... Um, we have already cleared the uh, um, uh, Book of Sin. There we go. I've already cleared the Book of Sins, so I don't have to worry about that. I will go ahead and pick these two up. Uh, no, this is not going to be a 24-hour stream. This is uh, me. I might do two runs today. Uh, I will... Uh, you know what? I'll I'll pop the Book of Revelations. I'm okay with doing that. That gives me another hit. And uh, now we're going to leave. I will be fighting uh, death on this uh, on this um, floor now uh, because I popped that. But that's cool. I will get another uh, cube of meat for basically no particular reason. It's not as if it helps me in any, in any particular way. But uh, you never know. I mean, that could this cube of meat could be useful somehow. Uh, I do not know how, but you know, maybe we can get a spawn of another cube of meat somehow. That was a really stupid thing for me to do. Uh, I just picked up a picked up a heart. Um, I don't know why, but I did. We're gonna go ahead and re-roll the library. Just trying to secure my chance of winning this run. Uh, I think my chances are pretty good so far. But uh, Book of Belial, I'm gonna go. Um, 
I kind, I kind of want to take the Book of Belial into the boss room. But at the same time, I really don't think I'm going to need it. Uh, I really... Okay, this is helpful. Let's just pop that to get back into Curse State. I'll pop it a couple more times, uh, just because I am now in Curse State. And there's the Blood Bag, okay. Uh, the question is, do I want the Blood Bag? Would I rather re-roll the Blood Bag? These are questions that go through my head at times like this. Let's go fight Death real quick. Uh, I don't anticipate that he's going to be uh, much trouble. Uh, one, he's Death, and two, I'm Guppy. Uh, so, uh, I don't foresee having much trouble fighting Death right now. So, uh, Death is dead. Long live Death. I'm gonna go ahead and spend, uh, this, uh, this health on the blood bank. Okay, you need to die. There's my deal with the devil that I was looking for. I have a reroll. Let's go in and see what I can spend three hearts on. Uh, the mark is definitely something I'm looking for. We're going to reroll Luckfoot to get Sister Maggie? You know what? Why not? I kind of feel like I already got Sister Maggie uh, in the past. I, um... I don't know. Uh, we're actually pretty close to the end of the game. Uh, we only have a couple of, uh... A couple of places left to go. Uh, before I have uh, basically cleared the game. Uh, I do... Uh, at this point, I'm actually feeling we're probably going to win. Uh, at this point, uh, just based off of one, I'm Guppy, and uh, I know I keep repeating that, but it does need to be restated a couple of times that I'm Guppy. Uh, mostly because of the rarity factor, but also because of the awesomeness factor. Because, you know, well, I'm a flying cat who uh, shoots tears made of awesome and joy, and uh, every time I hit someone, I create flies that do even more damage. So, uh, I mean, th these are just these are just things that are awesome in general, uh, and I love them. So, you know, we're guppy, this is awesome, and we will continue to be awesome. Now, the question is, uh, how many books are there left in the rotation that I need to get rid of? The answer is too many, so we're going to re-roll the blood bag. Uh, and we're going to get technology two. Um, this is a very... Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Look at that. I have, uh, yes, I will be finishing the game this stream. Uh, that is an interaction I have never seen before. We have Quad Shot plus Technology 2. That is insane! The hell is this? That is nuts. I, I, I like it. I, I love it. Uh, I want more of it. Wow, look at this. This is a, this is a thing, guys. This is, this is an amazing thing. This is one of my favorite things ever. Uh, because, uh, I mean, we lost a little bit of damage when we picked up Technology 2. I'm not going to deny that. But, um, the damage that we lost is not... Like, it's kind of negligible based on how much damage we ourselves are doing. Look at his health drop. Holy crap! This is basically my, one of my favorite things ever. Look how many flies we have! Oh my god! Flies, go! Do your, do your business! Go kill my enemies! Holy damn! Oh, this is so cool! Oh, I'm liking this. Okay, well, I will get to do one more reroll on the library. Uh, I am infinitely glad that I chose to reroll uh, the uh, the blood bank, the blood bag that I got, as opposed to rerolling the library. That was definitely one of my better choices. Remember, this is the game where I rerolled uh, Brimstone. So uh, saying this is one of my better choices is definitely. Uh, I mean, it's saying something. Uh, I'm so sure I picked up the Necronomicon earlier uh, when I picked up uh, Book of Belial. I may have not though. But, um, you know, we will take those out of the rotation. We're going to go down and we are going to fight Mom. Uh, I am, uh, I feel that our win, uh, in general is assured. I'm going to try not to get cocky, but blue, uh, but uh, guppy is, uh, all I really uh, feel like saying about this. Um, I, I kind of feel like the win is kind of guaranteed at this point, especially given, uh, the type of damage that we are experiencing here. Uh, this is, this is truly something special, guys. Uh, this is, this is the type of run that does not happen, uh, very often. Uh, this is a Mulan-style run. It does not happen every dynasty. So, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm loving this. This is, this is, this is awesome. I'm so glad this is gonna be going up on YouTube. Um, I do not need the matchstick. Now, the one, the one thing that's hurting me right now is lack of health. And I'm not helping things by walking into this room, or maybe I am. Uh, let's see. That's telepill, so I can just teleport right out. That's bad trip, which I don't want. So we're just gonna teleport right out. Let's see where this takes us. Uh, right outside the boss room. I actually do not want to be here, uh, oddly enough. I actually want to go and see what's happening, uh, in the rest of the floor. Let's go ahead and open that up. Reroll Tammy's head to get, 
uh, the rem uh, the uh, doctor's remote, which is not particularly good. But you know what? I can I can use this uh, to uh, to make cool things happen. First and foremost, we're gonna go into the secret room, uh, which uh, is okay. This this is kind of frightening. The level of awesome the game is offering to me, kind of on a platter. Uh, I don't know what I want to reroll more. I have so many options for reroll. The game, you are too good to me. What was this? Bad trip. Well, I, I guess we'll keep it. I mean, there's no reason for me not to keep it at this point. And we'll just walk in this direction, get that guy killed on the spikes. Uh, we are just going to save up rerolls. I have plenty of bombs. Uh, it is my profound hope that, one, I will get more keys than I have now. Range up, we'll use for the quad shot. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, it is my profound hope that we will... Okay, hi, uh... Apparently, we're going to be getting all sorts of amazing stuff uh, off of uh, off of uh, our guys here. That's a key. That's good. I need at least three more of these. Uh, you could give me spirit hearts. I wouldn't mind those. That is a bomb. It's not a live bomb. It's just a regular bomb. Uh, yes, I do like sushi. And uh, that is blue candle. Um, that I am probably going to... I am definitely taking a squeezy. You have no idea how much squeezy I am taking. Uh, we're just going to fillet the uh, the Loki here. Loki, consider yourself filleted. Uh, and that was fillet, F-I-L-E-T, not F-L-A-Y-E-D. But I believe that both are uh, extremely adequate descriptions of what we just did to Loki and what we are now doing to Monstro 2. I feel uh, incredibly satisfied by the damage we're doing. I really want that blue candle, and at the same time, I really don't. Uh, I mean, this is a terrible thing for me. This is one of the things, I like, one of the reasons why I kind of dislike occasionally, um, the, uh, the D6. Uh, Philomena. Uh, we, uh, I, this is why I kind of dislike the D6 in some ways, because it makes me want to make bad decisions. Uh, like, for instance, give up on the, uh, the blue candle in favor of doing other things, like keep my D6. Give me Epic Fetus. That is not Epic Fetus. Uh, I'm only gonna get, like, one more reroll, maybe two, if I happen to be extremely lucky. Just kill all these guys. Uh, I'm hoping for some more, uh, some more, um, keys in the near future. I'm just gonna keep on going. Just the sheer amount of damage that we do is, uh, Octavia. Uh, the sheer amount of damage... I I'm apparently saying random things the chat is asking me to. Um, the, uh... Whoa, 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 Hel hello there, hi, uh, this is, uh, not acceptable in the slightest, you do not shoot green bombs at me, I do not want green, uh, green, uh, green bombs and ham, I do not want them, Sam, I am, I, I tried, I tried, I tried to make it work, uh, the stars, just a random teleport bill, uh, but it is, uh, a lot better than having, uh, that, so just go down here, uh, I don't know why I went into this room, this was uh, a really poor decision on my part to just walk into this room, uh, but, uh, you know, okay, we have a lot of gold, let's, uh, let's see what we can make of it, I really, uh, we can make a pretty habit, uh, okay, Octavia, I don't know, um, it looks like Octavia to me, so, you know, there you go. I, uh, I don't know why I'm being asked to say these names. I, uh, I kind of have an idea, actually. It's, that, that's completely not a lie. I kind of know what those names are, kind of, but I don't know if that's what you're meaning for those names to be. But, um, yeah, can, can you give me... No? Uh, I would like to get, uh, I would, uh, really, uh, really like to see, uh, potentially in the uh, near future, a couple of keys. Uh, just two of them is all that I ask of you. Uh, I, I don't know what they are. That's why I'm asking you. What are those names? Um, those are keys. That's fantastic. Uh, do I really need you anymore? I mean, you gave me my keys. You could give me two more keys. If you gave me two more keys, I'd be happy. Thank you, sir. Now I won't blow you up. Let's go ahead and uh, slide on down towards here. Let's see what's in here. A sad onion. Uh, let's re-roll that into uh, sack of pennies. I probably should have kept a sad onion. But uh, I kind of feel that uh, my uh, tears are probably firing at a fast, about as fast as they possibly can. Uh, I d do I want that blue candle is the real question. And you know what? I'm kind of thinking no uh, for a couple of reasons. Most, most notably uh, because, uh, you know, I, I have the D6. Um, you know... The D6, uh, and we're gonna be going to the chest. I have no doubt 
that the uh, the chest is in our future. Um, given the type of stupid that we are doing right now, uh, I think the chest is definitely going to be something that we're going to be seeing uh, very, very soon here. Just look at this. Uh, Monstro, uh, you need to die because I want to spend all of these flies on Mom. Mom, I just want you to get chunked. Uh, those are knights. They should not be too hard to kill uh, since we have piercing shot anyways. Uh, Mom, you, uh, Mom is now in the per permanent uh, bomb firing state, uh, which is what that uh, really weird sound signified. We took absolutely no damage. Is there anything else I want to do on this floor? You know what? I might as well go get the Ankh, because there's no reason for me not to get it. Uh, you know... I, I kind of... I, I really... I feel bad about leaving the blue candle behind. But I think, if anything, that fight just showed me... I better be going up. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that kind of scared me a little bit. Um, but I think, if anything, that fight just showed that we don't need a uh, blue candle to give us the defensive uh, or offensive properties that it is so well known for. Uh, not for this sort of thing. I mean, as you can see, we're just we're just chunking through people. Uh, this is, again, a very amazing combination. Uh, so, uh, if you ever haven't, do not fear. Quad Shot and Technology 2 uh, do indeed stack. Uh, and they, uh, they love each other very, very much as Mommy and Daddy should. So, uh, th that's wonderful. Okay, let's, uh, kind of dodge around these guys. I would like to get, uh, Cathedral Boy, which is not a real achievement, even though it should be. Uh, but I would like to get Cathedral Boy and, uh, t you know, get my take no damage on the Cathedral achievement. Uh, what is this? Do we know what this is? We do not. Let's find out. It's not Telepills. We know that. Speed up. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's okay. I'm not, uh, like, I don't like speed up right now because I already feel kind of too fast as it is. But, um... You know, speed up can be fine. We have so much damage right now. I'm just going to pop into here. Let's see what this is. Uh, two troll bombs. Okay, we're going to use the stars to get out. And apparently we're going to be fighting a Black Widow who's going to die extraordinarily quickly. We're going to pop open that tinted rock. I was kind of hoping for small rock and even more hoping that I wouldn't get hit. At the very least, I did not get hit. That is another bomb. Uh, there are bombs left and right on this floor. Uh, I do not know how long we'll be streaming for. Probably not. You know what? I actually, I want that fight. I do want that fight. Let's get back in here. And, uh, let's just own Greed real quick. He shouldn't take too long to kill. Uh, unfortunately, he did not spawn his plinth, which is what I was looking for. And we're going to continue on towards the, uh, we're going to continue on, uh, towards the boss here. I don't like anything about this room. But it wasn't too hard. We'll go ahead and once again kill Black Widow, which is going to, who's going to just fold up very quickly, and uh, so will Normal Widow, and I'm just gonna, you know what, I'll pick up that scent, because I would be foolhardy to leave it behind. Um, I have absolutely no idea how long I will be streaming for. Okay, let's uh, let's continue working our way over here towards the boss, who I, uh, you know what, I, I don't know how Isaac is gonna be, because we actually, we fire really, really fast, given that we have technology, and Isaac is known to be uh, a little bit hard to dodge when you have such high attack rate. Now, I have never actually fought Isaac with Technology 2. Uh, and I have said in the past that I don't have a lot of trouble dodging him. So we're going to see uh, exactly how much trouble I have dodging him while he has technology or while I have Technology 2 up. Uh, I can say not amazing an amount of trouble. Uh, what I do have trouble with, the fact that I'm not doing much damage. Okay, so I did just take damage. Uh, that kind of sucks, but that's cool. I'm just going to stand over here and peg him while I have, uh... Okay, so unfortunately, my shield's not gonna last all that long, but I was able to take almost half of his health while I stood there. Uh, and I think that this fight's less about just standing there and dodging, and it's more about dodging around uh, when you have technology, too. Uh, just sort of not staying in the exact same position all the time, you know, moving around the map, uh, you know, things like that. Then again, I don't expect that when you're actually playing, fighting against Isaac normally, that you're going to have quad shot and, uh, you know, and technology too. I don't really think that's going to be a typical thing for most players. So I don't know if I can, uh, if my experiences are good for them too. You know, we are going to pick up technology because I'm kind of curious. Okay, so unfortunately we did lose quad shot, but we have a lot of damage. I am going to pick up tough love. Uh, mini mush. We're going to reroll those two. Uh, wow. Uh, you know what? Do I want Skinny Odd Mushroom? You know what? Yes, I do. Let's see how this works. Yeah, that that seems like something that I like. Let's go ahead and get a luck up. I oh, I feel as if I already have plenty of luck. Uh, where we're going, we don't need luck. 
But now we're just going to go ahead and go to town on just about everything we see. Uh, this is the first time I've had Technology 1 and 2, and I cannot help but feel that having Technology 1 plus 2 plus, uh, you know, Guppy, this is probably one of the most extraordinary series of events that could probably happen in this game. I have absolutely no data to back up this statement, and I don't intend to actually research any. But, um, you know what? I'm Guppy, and that's all I really have to say. Uh, we're gonna continue just pounding everybody. Uh, I'm actually gonna probably want to gore, as stupid as that sounds, because this is just too damn fun. Whoa! You uh, don't do that. Okay, so that's a that's a dead guy. Let's go pop into here, see what's in here. We got some money. Okay, I don't think we can actually get anything with that money, but we have some money. It's good. God, I like this. I like everything about this. Let's re-roll the bottle of pills to get PhD. Um, you know what? I think I can do better. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Keep looking around for more people to kill. Uh, Slooper Sloth is actually a super sleuth is actually one of the easiest fights I can think of right now because I can just take out everything he shoots at me uh, with minimal trouble. So we're just going to continue pegging him for everything he's worth. He's going to give us Bob's Curse. That's another thing I could re-roll if, uh, if I need to. Because I uh, don't really foresee myself using uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of bombs on the Blue Baby boss fight. You know what I do see myself using a lot of? Guppy. Okay, so that is uh, another potential, uh, re or another thing there. And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to fight uh, Gertie here. Uh, Gertie, I anticipate being a particularly easy fight. I mean, you can just kind of see what we're doing to Gertie. Uh, Gertie, I don't know how you uh, didn't die before you fired that last shot. Uh, let's just reroll this right here. You know what, Peeper? Why not? It's a passive. Let's just let that fire around. Uh, I'm still, yeah, I'm still firing. I kind of... I was actually moderately worried that I would lose one of my technologies uh, because I did that. Just get over here. I'm glad I have high speed because it allows me to get around these two. I cannot believe I took damage. Uh, in real life, the most thing I, the thing I want most is sleep right now, actually, and I'm getting pretty close to it. Uh, let's go open that. Uh, that is absolutely terrible. My best friend. We're gonna keep on exploring. I just want to clear the floor because I feel really powerful, and when I feel really powerful, I want to clear the floor. Uh, it is another Gertie fight, which I am not threatened by at all. Uh, Gertie, you can keep on spawning stuff all you want. You're never going to deal damage to me. Uh, Gertie is dead, and we continue on. I'm just going to clear the floor. This is the this is the fun part of the game. Uh, I actually, I know I've heard a lot of people who don't really like the chest. I love the chest. This shit is fun. This is where you prove that you really got an overpowered run. If you, I mean, if you make it as far as a chest, chances are you got a pretty overpowered run anyways. And this is just the fun shit right here. I'm kind of hoping I'm going to get a Polyphemus uh, in, in some uh, very soon time. I took a little bit of damage. Uh, that is uh, actually pretty terrible of me to take. Let's, uh, you know what, let's reroll the best friend. Uh, because that's uh, probably the worst item uh, on the floor right now. Chocolate milk. Hells to the no. Actually, you know what? Let's go for it. Whoa! Look at that! Oh, that's uh, that stuff. Uh, who's the hardest boss beside Mom? Well, other than the uh, other than whatever boss I am facing right now, uh, and that's my typical answer to that question. Uh, the toughest boss. Uh, that's a very good question. Um, I don't like Pim or Pin, whatever his name is. I really dislike him for some reason. I'm not sure why. Everybody thinks he's, like, the easiest boss ever. But uh, for some reason, I have just tremendous trouble with him. Uh, I will say that... I will say that picking up the uh, chocolate milk was probably a mistake on my part uh, that I wish I could rectify. But on the other hand... Uh, let's see. Who's the hardest boss? Um, I actually, honestly... I think that Mom... Not Mom's... Not Mom's heart, but Mom herself is probably the toughest boss for me. Uh, mostly because it's really hard for me to do it with no damage, and that's the that's the trick now for me is to do uh, is, to, is to kill mom with no damage. Um, why are you not dead? There we go. So uh, you know that's the uh, that's the thing. Let's just tell it, it It'll ha yeah, it has to get me closer than where I was. But um, oh right, you said besides mom. I should probably read what you said. Uh, but um. If, you know, if not mom, um, uh, 
I don't know, usually uh, some aspect of peep, I guess. Peep can be uh, kind of annoying. Hey, look, we got tarot cards. What could we get in here? Emperor card, which uh, could not be more useless to me. You know, let's just re-roll that. Holy water. Uh, no. Just no, Scott. Uh, we are going to go ahead and just going to keep on fighting. We're going to keep on trucking. I don't know how I'm gaining... Or, well, I'm actually not gaining health. I had more health than this earlier on in the chest, so I'm not gaining health. Uh, which sucks. I love I love it when I gain health in the chest. Um, but you never know. I if I, could, if I get two spirit hearts, I will have gained health. Uh, that is Bob's Curse again. The game really wants me to have it. There's a ton of health in there that I could gain. I was going to pick up Bob's Curse. And we're just going to chunk through these guys. Uh, again, uh, chocolate milk, as amusing of an item as it is, it was definitely a mistake to pick up. Should have re-rolled it. Not that I have any more rerolls, honestly. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to fight Blue Baby. I expect this to go much the same way that the Isaac boss fight did. Uh, that is to say, easily. Uh, let's just drop a bomb there. Which got kicked away. Uh, you know, uh, Meat Boy is kind of doing his work here. I'm doing my work. We're both tag-teaming Blue Baby. Uh, you know, I've only, uh, between Isaac and Blue Baby so far, I've only taken probably three hits worth of damage. And, uh, part of this, of course, is going to be the orbitals, but also part of this is going to be, uh, just doing a little bit of damage, dodging. Doing a little bit of damage, dodging. Uh, that's four hits now, I think. Maybe five. It could be five. But, uh, I think doing a little damage, dodging is probably the way to go, uh, instead of doing sustained fire on him. But, uh, that was it. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not done yet, you know? I, I want to see what this item could be. So let's go re-roll the most crap item I have. And now we have Denver, which is also crap. Okay, well, you know what? We are uh, we are a flying dead cat who has technology 1, 2, orbitals. I mean, this was a good run. And uh, I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, but uh, that's going to be it for tonight, guys. It's going to be my one and only upload for tonight. But uh, don't worry, there'll be more uploads in the coming days when I actually have time to record. And uh, there will be more uh, Roos, more Rogue Legacy. I'm uh, planning on 100 saying Rogue Legacy, so expect that. And uh, there will be more Isaac. Believe me, there will be more Isaac. Uh, I'm probably going to start uh, partitioning off the Isaac runs. So that way I can actually like do one, kill the stream, restart the stream, do one. That way I can make sure that you guys actually get to see more of this. Uh, so until next time, ta-ta.